going on an adventure! <laughs> can get into and then we're going to go for a little walk and if, if, we, if we feel like it we might stay in the car park overnight not like rebels though we will pay our way oh yeah you have to pay yeah, like yeah. i think it's 12 pounds 24 hours i think not been there before um, but if we can't get into that car park then we might have to go and find somewhere else and if we can't get into any of those i don't know quite what we do we'll have to come home Well, not a fairy cake, because you're not a fairy. Victoria sponge cake with loads of icing on. What a find! The Cornish oven, then baking them in there. It's, you've got to taste it. You can't just say what a find. Okay. So finally back on the 8.30. Mark's going to have his pasty now. What a nightmare! We're not coming this way home, are we, tomorrow? No, that's my fault. Should have gone into Truro and gone Falmouth way. Never mind, remember for tomorrow. Nothing come between the man and his Cornish pasty. No, that's not right. Nothing comes between a Cornishman and his pasty. Mark, we're keeping two hands on the steering wheel. Okay. Is it any good though? little car park and we have paid 24 hours 12 pound and we're just really wanting somebody at the front row to move out of the way we actually let another motor home in because they're a bit narrower than us but a little car just shot in and <laughs> got into a space that we were looking at so rude 
I think we're just gonna have to go on our walk and maybe move when we come back. Do you think? I don't think we'll get in that gap. Mark's looking at a car in front of us and Mark's going to take one and I don't think we're going to get in there. Yeah, yeah. Getting our hiking boots on because I think it's going to be pretty muddy out there, isn't it, babe? falls in or something stupid, I'm going to walk across the beach. <laughs> we might just have to walk up the road. We could have gone across there, but I don't know. It's a bit slippy. <laughs> Sydney Cove. Hunt. Trig bagging hunt. <laughs> We're going on an Easter hunt. Was it? We're going, going on a trig hunt. We're going to get a big one. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see behind, but that's Prior Sands. We parked there. It cost us £12 overnight for 24 hours. But there are other parking spaces there for we think £8, Eight pounds. <laughs> for 24 hours and they don't want, well they can't accommodate caravans but they say yes to motorhomes so the car parks are pretty small really but if you're lucky you might get a spot overnight for as little as £8. Anyway we're off on a walk now aren't we to find a trig point. But it's really muddy, look. <laughs> Careful, don't fall. Oh, as he falls himself. That's skillful, Amanda. Oh, look at that. She's really dexterous. She's really good at Twister. Oh my god. I'm just gonna have to walk through them. Look at that view! Someone's stealing our van. Um, what? Okay. What? It's a really it? big puddle. Get on then, we've got a long way to go. Long way to travel. <laughs> oh, oh if, it, if it goes over your laces. Oh no, don't do that. It'll go inside your shoes. Got a sewn in, a sewn in tongue. So it. So instead of doing like a complete out and back, Mark's decided that we're going to do a lollipop shaped walk. Whoa. So now we're walking down a footpath. Look at the state of that. Is it? Is it really? No. No. Um, yeah, because he wanted to mix things up a bit, like he does. <laughs> but I think we're nearly at the trig. Whoa. Oh. I nearly fell in. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. It's not funny. It's not funny. Oh, 
Oh, this is a good, How is that better? <laughs> what, stuck to the case path? Yes. Found Michael's mount over there. In the distance. In the distance. <laughs> My hair's gonna blow off. the OS map on my phone and this is my trig point and we're walking down here so hopefully we should be there soon. Run Manda. So excited. You want a bath babe? You want a bath? We've got a little bath bomb in there. I don't know. I thought it's in the ground so I can't get to it. I'm gonna walk down here just a little bit. Very disappointed. Trig point fail number two. It looks like it's located right behind Hind, a property called the Lookout, which could be residential, could be holiday let. And the track down to that said no public access, um, which we clocked as we got onto the footpath. But there's no way to get to the trig point from the coast path. So I'm gutted, that was going to be trick point number nine, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh wow, how many miles did we walk to get to this point? Two. Oh two, so that's not too bad then. Okay, no, so we're going to... Oh, three. Oh, Mark still thinks that he can find it. I don't, this is beautiful down here. I mean, just look, look over there. It's amazing. And we're going to head back now. Back to Pra Sands. Yeah, look, there's the house up there. And the trig point must be just behind it. So there's a trig point behind that house. And there's no public access. Come on, babe, let's go back. What is this? What is it? It's a stick. Yeah. Can't read that. I need my glasses on. HMS. HMS war spite. War spite. So that's a little bit further on then. Over there, Amanda. There's a little guy um, oh, on that point over there. There seems right here. Yeah, right here. HMS Warspite. Yeah, so maybe there was a boat that sunk. Ahoy! Oh, there's a boat. What's on here then? Look at the old thatch roof. No way did someone live here. Surely not. Come up, shoes. Go. Oh, your boots. Muddy. Very muddy. We're here, and there's four different walks you can do out right here. One, and then blue one, and then a red one, and then that's cool, that's, isn't which it? Which way do we go? We went this way, over to Prussia Cove, and then. Around there and back. I'm exhausted. You're not exhausted. We only walked five miles. Five and a half. Five and a half miles. It's very, very, very muddy. And we were just debating whether we want to move from where we're parked over to have a sea view. But the sun's gone. It's disappeared, isn't it? And oh, 
although we're not completely flat here. It's not too bad, is it? A little bit nose down, which is good for us, because better for us than the other way, because the blood won't rush to our head no. when we sleep, which is, is good. And tomorrow it's going to be really miserable, so it's not like I need to see you or anything tomorrow. I think we'll just stay here. Stay here okay, and order um, delivery, Indian. Order. <laughs> I cooked no. our tea yesterday. All I got to do is warm it up. Yeah. So, um. Uh, joking. Should we shut the uh, blinds then, or do you want to leave them open for a bit? You just said, bit. is it beer o'clock? Do you want a beer? Yes, please. Have you got a kit? Are you pouring? No, because I'm rubbish at pouring beer. <laughs> I'll get it for you and you can just pour it yourself. Yeah, because you made me walk all that way. It was all right. Just very disappointed now that I didn't yeah. get a trig. Lost my hat. Oh yeah, he lost his hat. He put it in the bottle holder on the side of my bag and I bet it came out when you were taking me down that stupid footpath. I lost my Peaky Blinders coastal hat. Never mind. You have got another one. I think I'll get you another one. Okay, so do you think it would be really cheeky to go lengthways along there? What time of night is it? Is it like six o'clock? About time to. Nobody else is going to come and, well, I suppose they might. Maybe just pull forward. At least we can say we've had a sea view pitch. If you pull forward though, the risk is that we might um, be head up a little bit. At the moment we're nose down, aren't we? Yeah. So if you pull forward, we'll, we'll let bring the nose up. A little bit. I don't think it's flat there though. Okay. Right, okay, let's do let's it. Let's have a look. I've got old your beer though, haven't I? Yeah, I've got old your beer rushed. and I've got old chocolate. How am I going to order three? Well, you, if, if, if you that spills, we'll have to go pub. <laughs> okay. There's no one else in the car behind it. There's just a van next to us on the left. Have you got the. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh no, we haven't the food. Everything's still up. The stove's off and... <gasps> oh my gosh. Just be really careful because my our dinner is on the stove. <laughs> Tea's there. Oh my goodness. Right, we are in the middle. Yeah. This way. And we are still head up, so that's fine, isn't it? Head up or head down? Head up. The, the, the no, if, is the nose of the vehicle higher than the back? Or no. Is it lower than the back. Down. So the nose down. Yeah. Right, I'll get a bit closer to the hedge. Okay, so what? what about your beer? <gasps> there. What about that? Look at our sea view, guys. It's going to be really horrible in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He did it. So now we got a sea view pitch. <laughs> All we need now is to see a few cruise ships go by for some <laughs> entertainment. There you go, you have your beer. This is a Cloudy Jane. Is it? This is Brood Dog Cloudy Jane, 5%. Okay. Look, look at that. It's cloudy. <laughs> and. It's got a little bit of a fruity something. Not overly, because I don't like too fruity stuff, especially beer, but got a nice nose. I'm talking. Nice nose. And hold on. Nice palette. Really nice. Really nice. Recommend it. I recommend. Cloudy Jane. <laughs> I tried, listen, I tried. No, no, no. no, I'm talking now. I <laughs> Mind your language. I, re I recommend Aldi's light hot chocolate with some Cornish Dream cappuccino liqueur in it. That's, That's so rubbish. Yes, I'm addicted to it. Okay, I'm dishing it up now. What is it? So this is what I made yesterday. It yes. is chorizo, yes. sweet potato, pepper. Um, have I got an onion in? Why do you think I put an onion in, you know? Courgette, black beans, harissa paste. Um, it's a bit like a stew, really. 
seasoned. Nice party stew. Of course it's seasoned. Sure it's so. Yeah. We were going to have couscous. Couscous? <laughs> couscous? Couscous. I want some couscous. But we're not going to have couscous now. Oh, you there tease. You go. Oh, thanks, baby. Bon appetito. Come on, that's hot, isn't it? It is. It's steaming. <laughs> <laughs> hot. Is it hot, hot? Or hot, spicy hot, or just heat hot? It's not spicy. No. Yeah, mate, that's not true. There is some spice in it. Oh, okay, good. But it's not spicy like a chilli. Okay, well, it's just what you need on a cold February evening, listening to the sea crashing. So we're going to get cosied up in bed earlier than Old. normal because somebody didn't want to put the silver screens on, did you? Don't blame me. I am blaming you. Oh, I can't do that. Babe. You didn't want to put the silver screens on, so <laughs> it's really quite cold. It's going to be cold in. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cold. Oh, it's twice I've done that now. I'm in the same place. <laughs> I'm concussed. <laughs> We have been rocking all night, haven't we? We are moving. I think we need to rise up a little bit. Well, we didn't have no service, so we didn't know which way the wind was blowing. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But more than that, preparation and planning. Well, so we've had some epic, epic fails. What's happened? It's not a fail. Magic we'll forego the, um, the view. <laughs> in favour of a peaceful night's sleep sheltered somewhere away from the wind. I did say should we move over there and you didn't want to. But... Oh, I'll we'll have to listen to myself. The eco flow has failed. It's run out off. of juice. No, it's not. The gas has failed. We've run out of gas. <laughs> we seem to be running out of gas every time we go away. Exaggerate. No, I'm not. And it is. It's got to be 50 odd mile an hour winds out there, if not more. It is blowing a hoolie. Uh, it was nice and cosy in bed, though. We've got so many blankets. Lovely and warm. Just not slept very much. Oh, my gosh. If, if, at this rate, you'll be driving the same and I won't even be dressed. How many vans do you do? Three? I think there's just three of us tonight. This is a really good park up, isn't it? Yeah. Really good. Just not when there's a storm. <laughs> We're going in. home. Yeah. We could stay till two o'clock if we wanted to because it was £12 for 24 hours of parking. So there would have been no need to rush off in this morning, but yeah, Mark's not going to go out and get completely soaking wet to change the gas, are you? So we're going to head home. And uh, yeah, it's a really good park out. So I hope you've enjoyed this little little trip with us. This <laughs> wild adventure. camping, this what little adventure. For what you've seen of it. Yeah, it's a shame about the trigger point, wasn't it? Ridiculous. How dare they hide trick points? <laughs> Never mind. We'll find the next one. I did think maybe we could go and find one now, but no, it's just too miserable. So we will see you in our next video, wherever that may be. Until then, take care. Bye. Bye.